getting a few provisions at the Kalahari Mall. We're going to cross into Namibia this morning at Nako. So, we've just finished our border formalities in Namibia. They could perhaps be a little bit more helpful, but fairly painless. Now we're going that way into Namibia. Let the journey begin. First stop was I Ice Resort, which is the ending point for Fish River Canyon hikes. We didn't book, just pitched up, and the most reasonably priced accommodation was this chalet. And it is massive. Even for a house, it would be large, but really comfortable. We were only going to stay one night, but decided to stay two instead. just told me that the flood here earlier this year, the water was above these numbers, so that's above my head height, and the river's down there, so this whole area was head height underwater. I ice means burning water in the local Nama language, and legend has it that the sulfurous thermal hot spring were discovered by a Nama herdsman looking for his lost sheep. There are indoor pools, but I much preferred the outdoor one. It's a really, really comfortable temperature. This is a natural spring. You can actually feel the warmth. It is really hot. There's an Uber. Somebody's been using it as a target practice. This is Hobas entrance to the viewpoint for the Fish River Canyon. There's also a campsite here. You've got to pay 250 rand. And there's a little shop. You can get your basics by right, morning. We're going that way to the canyon viewpoint. This is the main viewpoint. The Fish River Canyon comes second only to the Grand Canyon in terms of size and awesomeness. Start of the Fish River Canyon hiking trail. Canyon is 160 kilometers long, 27 kilometers wide, and up to 550 meters deep. You can do a five-day hiking trail through the canyon that ends at I-Ice. I'll put a link in the description. 